Namibia and Botswana signed a bilateral agreement in 2014 on the development of 1,900 kilometers railway line, coal terminal and associated loading facilities. This regional project expected to provide a direct connection to Valfas Bay to landlocked Botswana seems to have been stalled. Trade is hampered. Growth of our economies is hampered. Our quest as politicians to, to improve on employment and to reduce or eliminate poverty I actually worked against and it translates into me and you not being reliable and good performers. While warning the committee against bureaucracy, Molale urged them to come up with solution on the project. If we are not careful, bureaucracy can turn into red tape and block things. And the red tape is not a necessary evil. It's unnecessary and it's a real evil. So distinguish between bureaucracy and red tape. Namibia's Works and Transport Minister John Mutorwa emphasized that he is also not happy that the project has not kick-started, even though an office was allocated to the Secretariat Committee. In terms of the space that is allocated there, I don't know how many offices are allocated to, 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 to the, the BMO. This organization, as the volume of activities are increasing, I do not want to hear, at least during the time when I'm the Minister of Transport, that no, there's no more space for, for, for the Secretariat, Mr. Smith, for the Secretariat of, of this particular very important, you know, uh, 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 project. Very important. The aim of the Ministerial Committee meeting was to get an update on progress made in the construction of the Trans-Kalahari Railway since the bilateral agreement was signed.